What is going on, fellow Autobots and Septicons? Welcome back to Rollout Nation, and we are back with more TF5 Watch news. And uh, before we get started with this video, I just have to tell you two things that are going on with the channel, and two things that you know are just going to be changing up about. Really, it's just two things. But one thing is, I just came back from school registration, and I'm now officially a sophomore, which is pretty awesome. And this is the. If you guys are wondering where this hat's from, it's from my high school. So this is my way of saying, here's my rep. Here's me representing the school, but um, the with school coming back next week, I have a, ch a little bit of change of plans in terms of the schedule. So uh, from now on, um, you know, after this week, um, you will be seeing videos Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but nothing Monday through Thursday because that's all dedicated to schoolwork, and I'm not going to do anything during that time frame. So don't expect any videos around there. So. So that's just the, the deal with that. So if you guys don't notice any videos uh, Monday through Thursday, just keep in mind I'm at school and I want to focus all on my school work. But um, anyway, let's get down to the news today. So we have some more photos from the Scotland filming, particularly from Cybertron.com. TFW has in fact didn't have them yet, but um, we got more photos on set. So I want to show you guys just a couple of photos of from set and, and a few particular photos that I saw from the set itself. So. Uh, uh, here's a few photos for you guys, so we, for you to see what the filming looks like. So take a look. So as you can see, there's a few Autobots and a few Decepticons on set. We have the Decepticon van that we don't know yet. It could be Swindle, Rumble, who knows. We have Bumblebee, Optimus, and Hound also on set. No sighting of Drift or Hot Rods vehicle mode or anything of that nature. But um, I have two particular photos that I really want to talk about. One is this Army photo, which we'll talk about, and this Jet photo, which we will talk about in depth. But let's talk about the Army photo first of the Nest team. So check this out for yourselves. As you, can, as you can see, it has all like the Nest people there. You have Josh Duhamel there. You got Tyrese Gibson. But the one thing that I find very particular, and I could be totally wrong about this, but is that Laura Haddock in that photo? You know, if you see, do you see the girl? Like, I put an arrow right there so I so you guys can actually see it. But um, but uh, is that Laura Haddock? So is she part of Nest? I'm, I'm just saying because you know, you see the girl that's just like you know being held by a bunch of men. That looks like Laura Haddock, right? Am I wrong? I think that's Laura Haddock. So is she a nest agent? Or a nest soldier? Who knows? But I just saw that, so uh, I could be totally wrong about that. But um, but that's the one thing that I found interesting. The other thing that I found very, very interesting is this photo right here. Now, some of you may be asking yourself, is that an F-22? Well, it has the shape of an F-22, so, and if you guys are really, really good knowing Transformer vehicle modes in the live-action universe, you would know that an F-22 belongs to Starscream. Now, people are already saying, is Starscream going to return for Transformers the last night? Possibly. I mean, it's a, it's very, very possible because Starscream has an indestructible spark. He can't be, you know, he can't be killed because he has an indestructible spark. It was it was a uh, that concept was first used in uh, in Beast Wars and it's been used ever since. So um, you can't really kill him off that easily, and I don't think that they're gonna let that character die. Okay, because if they're bringing Megatron back, I think they might want to bring Starscream back as well, right? Um, but I could be totally wrong about this. I mean, we don't even know much about the story yet. We don't even know much about Decepticon characters yet. All we know is that Megatron, Onslaught, and Barricade are in this movie. We don't even know any other Decepticon characters that are going to show up yet. So for all we know, this could be Starscream, or it could be another Seeker, maybe Thundercracker or Skywarp. It could be somebody, but I'm going to go ahead and say that it's possible that Starscream could possibly return. It's possible, but um, they would have to explain, you know, why he's back, how he came back, because, correct me if I'm wrong here, Sam blew his head up. He blew his head up, he tore his eyes apart. And, uh, yeah, um, I hope that they explain that, because that, they need to explain that, okay? 
Because if it's not Starscream, then it's probably another Seeker. Like I said, maybe Thundercracker or Skywarp. That would be interesting, but... Um, yes, uh, you guys let me know. Do you guys think Starscream's going to return? And also, is that Lord Haddock in the Nest photo with the other Nest people? Is she officially a Nest agent? Who knows, but that's it for this TF5 watch. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, you guys let me know about Starscream and Lord Haddock. And uh, again, with a new schedule next week, it will just be Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when I do videos. Monday through Thursday is dedicated to schoolwork. So no videos for Monday through Thursday. It will just be dedicated to schoolwork. So uh, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are Rollout Nation, and we always roll out. See you next time.